Okay, this is the Yang COVID-19 form. Corona form, don't know what we're going to call it yet, but anyway, the Yang form, Yang 24 in this space here. So hopefully in the space that you can see in the camera. Uh, I'm going to go through it, hopefully I remember my notes. I've done it soon after the session we did on Monday, that would probably be more sensible, but we'll give it a go. So, starting off, facing this way. Have a little bit of space over that side. Feet together. Stepping out. And open. And close. Holding the ball. Ward off. Part in horse's mane, number one. And then straight into white crane, so back foot comes in. Front foot onto the ball. Hands together, and then open. And then we're going to turn. So, to the left. And to the right, turn on the ball of the foot, hand coming into your shoulder. And then sit back, so your right foot's empty. Take a step, brush knee and push. You'll do two brush knees. So turning. And brush knee again. So right hands forwards. Playing the loops. Step in. And settle. How many can I have to one because we're going to do? I have three, so let's see what happens. So one. Two, three, and then from there the arm comes under, we're going to do sparrow's tail but only on the right hand side, so step, ward off, roll back, and press, separate, and push, and then single whip just like normal, so sweep, Take a step, single whip, and then we're going to go into clown hands just like normal, but we're going to go the opposite way. So, foot comes in, foot turns, arm comes under, wave left, foot comes in, and then we're going to go right. So, step right one, so making some space on the left hand side. And two, so just go as many as you want, as long as you've got space on the left, you're good. So, three, make your whip, turning. Back into single whip. And then carry on as normal for a bit. So, high pat on the horse. Step in. Right hand comes over the top. And then cross hands. Open. Right heel kick. Lift up. And kick. Boxing tiger's ears, just like normal. And box. Open. Turn your foot in, bring your foot, left foot back, and then step. Imagine mixing the corner for those Monday morning people here, and then left heel kick. So lift up, and then kick. So it comes in, snow creeps down just like normal. So step one, hand coming down, hook backwards, and then two. Hopefully you've got enough room on the left hand side, my fridge is a bit in the way. So one, foot comes in, make your whip one way or another, second snake, turn, hook, fingers forwards, and then foot comes up, and then we're going to go backwards again, so left foot steps behind, turning, so now facing the opposite way, as your weight goes forward, your left foot should already be forwards, Left arm's already high, so lift it a little bit higher, and then working with shuttles, just one of those. And then needle at C bottom, so roll back, hand comes over, and then sinking down. Scoop up, fan through back, take a step, open, and then deflect parry punch, just like normal, sit back and turn. Arm comes under with your foot. And then step, deflect, remember pivot on the heel, let your body follow, let the arm follow, deflect. As you step in, the other hand comes in, parry, and then take a step and punch. Left hand comes under, as you sit back, draw the elbow back, and then push. 
and again, it's different to how we normally do it. Weight comes back, left foot sweeps back. Turning, separates. And then just adjust your stance into an after stance, cross hands. And then finally separate. Foot comes in. And settle. Breathe in. And relax. How's that? Hopefully you managed to follow it okay.